Right guys, so in today's video, I want to go ahead and talk about the AGC model that is being used and implemented by people all around you and there are big people in this space like Iman, like Russell, like Serge, like Thomas Gonet, right? Big people in this space are using this agency model and are transforming before your very eyes into something more, something bigger, something more leveraged in today's economy. As you guys know, we are in an attention economy, right? But a lot of people fail to use that as leverage and fail to really scale past the true potential as a service provider towards becoming something bigger, like a coach, a consultant, an actual brand owner, right? So I want to go ahead and talk about and discuss first feedback loops so it's very important you understand how the agency model works from an internal perspective from a mind perspective right from a mind perspective we talk about a lot of we talk a lot about mental models about how to think how to act as a business owner but a lot of people don't really understand so i want to give big credit to sam ovens as he literally blew my mind as soon as he taught this right but this is basically how everything works in your brain so a feedback loop a feedback loop loop is created when you give an input right you channel that input that energy into a process you gather it you gather results and you get feedback from that process again that turns into feedback that ties back into your input let's give a quick example right you maximize your energy you sleep well you sleep good right you eat good you eat clean you put in work every single day into building your agency. You put in work. Let's let's hone it down a notch and say you put in work when it comes to outreach, right? You're doing you and your along with your team have between themselves 500 uh, outreaches per day, right? You channel your energy or your input into outreach. The process is 500 DMs a day. Boom, you you get you get meetings booked. That's the feedback. That's the result. Boom, you tie it into your feedback, right? You get meetings booked. Now you want to do more outreach, and that's a big. It ties back into your input, and the cycle keeps on going and continuing, continuing forever and ever and ever, for any area that you tackle in life. If you want to grow your agency, you're tackling outreach, right? This is results, right? So, again, when it comes to outreach, for example, you need input, which is outreach, to get your your out your result, which is meetings booked, right? So outreach, your process is increase the volume, you get more meetings booked, more meetings books dri drives your confidence up, you put more input, more process, more meetings, more feedback, more input, right? Simple. This is a simple way of thinking in every aspect of your business. Whatever you focus this feedback loop on in your business will explode, right? If you're having problems booking meetings and you focus solely on outreach and getting more meetings booked, using this feedback loop, you will get there. If you can't close any sales calls, right? Using this feedback loop will get you there, right? Same thing applies for everything. So now let's go ahead and take a general overview of the space before we can talk about the new generation of agency owners and where the space is going. We have to be able to talk about where the space was and what everybody else thinks the space consists of. Because a lot of people say, hey, SMMA is saturated, right? SMMA is dead, right? When service-based businesses have been around for generations and generations known to man, right? Service-based businesses, whether it be in person, now they're just online, they have been around forever and they will always be around. There is always a service that people don't wanna do that you can provide, always. Whether it be something simple like mowing lawns to running Facebook ads for another person, right? So let's take, let's take a look at the original agency feedback loop. The original agent, and this is why most agency owners fail to begin with. So they start with a generic offer, Facebook ads, right? Maybe even TikTok ads. Maybe they're doing just meta ads in general. They do cold outreach. They do anywhere from 50 to 100 outreaches per day, just on their own, DMing people that they think might be interested. And the crazy part about it is, is they DM people that everybody else DMs. They don't find any, they don't niche down. They go over, they say they find fitness and they go to, to Greg O'Gallagher or they go to Brandon Carter, Carter, the big people in the space thinking a cold DM is going to do something, right? They don't understand. They get dismal appointments, if any appointments. 
they get failed sales calls, if any, from those appointments. And then it ties back into the offer. So your offer sucks. You're doing your, your outreach sucks. You barely get any results. So then you quit. You completely quit, right? You leave everything behind and you're like, yeah, this agency thing, SMMA is dead. It doesn't work. No, bro. SMMA does work. You're just thinking about it wrong and your approach is way, way off. You know what I mean? So I want to go ahead and zoom out the whole picture for you. I want to go ahead and describe to you how everybody else is performing SMA right in front of your eyes and how they're building leverage in every single step of the way by using this model and going from 10K a month to literal tens of millions of dollars every single year, right? So let's zoom out the whole picture and take a look at the new generation agency model. So again, let's start with a very leveraged and useful tactic for a traditional model. So a traditional model that works in today's day and age is an agency leveraging trends to sub niches. For example, guys, right now, maybe Legion is very hot. Everybody wants more leads. Everybody wants more. Legion is very hot. Uh, supplying people with closers is very, very hot as well. Appointment setters is very, very hot. Short form content is very, very hot. So you need to leverage trends, right? A lot of people, they think trends that they think they're being a trend writer when bro, stop focusing on not writing a trend and start focusing on getting money in. Because I promise if you go after a tried and tested method, right? You're like, nah, I just don't wanna be like everybody else. Bro, be like everybody else, but just do it better. Offer it to someone that doesn't know about the service. For example, if you're offering lead gen, right? Niche down to sub niches and do it to people that have never heard of lead gen. For example, right? You might niche down to plumbers for Legion. They might they might need some help. It might not be the biggest industry, but you beca can become the biggest person in that industry easily because nobody else is offering Legion to plumbers, but yet it is so valuable because they go about their every day not knowing that they need the service, but yet the service is so valuable and you're so closed-minded that you think, oh hey, yeah, it's dead, it's completely done, I'm not gonna go ahead and try this niche out. Short form content, for example. My short form content agency closed a realtor's office, right? You might be thinking, how the hell short form content realtor's office, when bro, these people have been taking pictures of their properties for years and years and years, but they have never done short form video for it. Yet there's millions of viewers on TikTok, right? That that literally will make will make your realtors offers more popular, right? You, when you post your properties on these Facebook groups, they're gonna be way more engaged because it's a video. For another great example, you're leveraging trends and you're offering it to different sub niches where people don't think to offer them to. So you need to leverage trends as sucky as that sounds, as bad as that sounds, you need to use trends to your advantage, but use them in places where those trends are not being used. And then is when you create leverage. Then is that is where you find a pocket of the market that you can literally conquer easily, right? How do you get to the next stage, right? You could start with a free trial, easy entry. Guys, if you're within the agency space, please do yourself a favor and do not let your ego stop you from closing one client. For example, in my agency, 30 days into my short form content agency back in August of last year, I had three sales calls of people interested and I was offering them a 3.5K a month retainer with no case study. Like, bro, are you, are you stupid? Like, of course people are gonna say no to that. You get me like any average, you yourself would say no to your own service if you were just starting starting out. Do yourself a favor and offer free trials and offer easy entry. It might not be the sexiest thing for the beginning. You might not be able to make a, you might not be able to flex a 5K, zero to 5K a month in 30 days 
yeah, it's okay, bro. It doesn't usually happen, right? It's okay, right? Give yourself customers from the very get-go. Close those meetings that you have from the very beginning because you will get more meetings if, you're, if your agency is leveraging trends to sub-niches as we, as we discussed. You're going to get way more interested people in your service. Let them in. Please let them in. Any lead that's warm, let them into your service. You're doing yourself a, dis a disservice by not getting your ego out of the way and actually letting these people through the door by offering free trials. For example, you don't start paying us till you get 100K views on your TikToks, right? You don't, or maybe you don't start, you can pay 500 now, even though your service is 3.5K. Pay 500 for this month, we'll start offering you 3. Point, then after this month, it's gonna be 3.5K retainer just to make sure you see results. And if you don't see results in these 30 days, we'll give you your 500 back. Simple, right? You need them to build case studies, right? To build up and use leverage. Even if you're doing work for free, bro. Even if you go up to someone, right? You offer your service literally for free and just tell them, you're gonna pay me with a testimonial. That's literally all you need. Put that, put that testimony on your website, put that testimony on the TikTok, put that testimony on your Instagram, put that testimonial absolutely everywhere. Because you need, it to, use, you need to use it as leverage for the next step. So the next step is to scale to five to 10K per month. Once you build up these case studies, I would say get anywhere from five to 10 clients within this, within this easy entry model. And then use that as leverage to perfect your service delivery, right? A lot of people think they need to focus on service delivery from the very get go. Bro, get money in first and I promise you, you're gonna do whatever you can in your power to get these clients results because it, you literally rely on it for your next paycheck. So. Give yourself no option but to succeed in, when it comes to service delivery, and I promise you'll do just fine, right? So the next step is to 2x two, two, two your price and pay per entry. Now you're not easy entry. Now you're actually paying for your service in full because you have these case studies as leverage. And then you perfect service delivery as a solution, right? Meaning, right, when you have service delivery, a lot of times you don't perfect it so you cannot scale. You don't know how... You don't know how to refine it. You don't know how to delegate people. So make a team to delegate your service. Make a team then delegate your service delivery. This is gonna allow you to do so much more when it comes to producing content and going into the next part, which is asset building. So a lot of people never make it out of this stage. I give you the easiest roadmap to make it out by leveraging trends to sub niches and then literally offering your services for free. I don't care if you're a slave up until the point you make your first dollar. That's how it works. It's not easy, it's not sexy, but it's what it is, right? You build up your case studies and then you perfect your service delivery. Why do you wanna to work towards perfecting your service delivery? Because it's gonna yield you big returns and it's gonna pull you away from the agency model. Now you're gonna be a business owner, right? Next, you wanna use assets. You wanna build assets to use as leverage later on. Why? Because now you're not you're now you're not gonna now you've built up your agency to that 10k per month mark. Everybody loves 10k per month. Every for some reason 10k a month is like everybody's biggest goal in life. <laughs> they want to reach 10k 10k a month so fast, right? Or like that's their biggest goal. So you're gonna leverage that 10k per month. You're gonna pull yourself away from the service delivery. And you're gonna focus on building assets. You're gonna focus on building an audience more importantly, which is your biggest asset. How are you gonna do that? You're gonna leverage short form, long form, and also written newsletters. For example, I made a quick, um, quick graph showing what the steps I will take, right? The steps I am taking currently, it's building your audience on Twitter. It's amazing, right? It's literally TikTok but for words. Right, but it's amazing to generate people wanting to make money. So, because TikTok is just a bunch of kids that could run across your stuff, Twitter is more a sophisticated version, I guess you could say. So, you build it using short form on Twitter, you gather that audience, and you transfer it to your Facebook group. That way, you have a, a lot of people use Discord, but I found there's a, there's a harder barrier of entry if you offer a Facebook group. For in my DMs, I always offer Facebook groups instead of actual uh, Discord, for example. Uh, I just find it easier, but you could obviously use anything like Telegram. 
uh, Discord, you gather the audience in one place and you start producing like a madman. A lot of people say long form YouTube. I would actually switch this and make it short form and then YouTube because you want to test your theories out with your short form content and then produce long form content videos regarding what actually sticks. A lot of people say, make a long form content video just like this one and then cut it up, bro. That's not the best case scenario. In order to have a productive short form content video, you need to be informative within those 30 seconds. You can't be as informative if you just cut up a piece of it from a long form video. So switch these two around, produce short form content and then produce long form content. Where the long form content does not have to be a YouTube video. It is best for it to be a long form video, but it can be something like maybe a maybe a podcast that you just record through voice or maybe a newsletter, whatever it might be. You need somewhere where you're funneling your audience to. Again, now you want to turn into a consultancy slash agency hybrid. Now your agency is running in the background. You're fueling your you're fueling everything that you got through this because you've now perfected everything else over here. Right. So now you want to become a consultant. You want to become a consultant for anyone trying to start whatever model of agency you want to start. For example, lead gen for plumbers. Let me write it out over here. So over here you're doing you were doing lead gen. You're doing lead gen for plumbers, right? Now over here, and you scale that up to 10k per month. Now over here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna teach others make so now you're using your agency you're going to use your agency to fuel this consultancy so you're going to teach others how to make a lead gen plumbing business it doesn't even have to be so specific it can just be you can use that you use that case study to fuel maybe how to start a lead gen business because it correlates to everything else. Use that case study, use it as leverage to help others reach that 10k per month mark. And you're gonna have people interested in your service by using the asset building portion of this. So now you're a consultancy slash agency. You start again with the same same entry where it's a very easy entry hey bro i'll charge you 500 a month and i'll do the whole process for you now that you've perfected your service delivery you can easily 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 replicate service delivery you can easily replicate service delivery up until this point over here All right let me just go ahead and put it over here You replicate service delivery for others. You teach them how to do what you did. You implement it for them. You funnel that audience to a mentorship. You give them free trial to begin with, or you give them easy entry. Hey bro, I'll charge you 500 bucks. Now you've completely eliminated, now you completely just delegated everything out of your agency so you can have full focus into helping new clients fulfill their dreams because the money is in making other people money, right? And if you're constantly trying to find, it doesn't even have to be plumbers, but let's use plumbers for this example. If you're constantly trying to find plumbers that can afford your service, you're gonna run out of plumbers. Eventually, you need to start targeting those plumbers who are broke and making them rich. But do you just wanna target plumbers that wanna make it big? No, bro, you want to target everyone that wants to get rich. You want to target absolutely everyone that wants to make a living online. You want to target everyone that wants to make a business. You want to target everyone that wants to be a business owner. And everybody does want that. So you're going to use that case study, use it as leverage for a consultancy slash agency hybrid and where the, your agency is running in the background. You're going to replicate the service for others. You're going to give them free entry as in low barrier, as in low cost or free trial or pay per results. You're gonna follow funneling the new audience to mentorship. And then after you replicate the delivery for others, you can now leverage those case studies from free trial 
and 2x the price. Now you've gone from service provider to a consultancy. And then you can then what you can do is completely pivot your agency and what people have done in this in the past where you're now not serving just plumbers anymore or you've completely shut this down like Iman did. Now you're just serving people who want to start. And that's where the money is. But you've built up your case studies up until the point where you've helped so many people that it's inevitable for people to run across your page and not want to sign up with you. So now you're doing it with them and you're doing it for them, as in you're perfecting the service delivery up from this model over here. You're using this to fuel this, to get your clients results. And you mix a hybrid of the two. And then you now you're officially a consultancy slash agency hybrid. Right. And this is what's going to take you and set you up for the next step. Right. But this is this will take you from making 10K a month. Plus, right. I'll say even 50K a month plus. We see this going on all the time, but yet nobody takes that path or they run across from it. They run into that path on the like just randomly. Right. Like Iman, I'm pretty sure he didn't plan this, right? He didn't plan to build agency flow. Uh, Thomas Gonet, I'm pretty sure he didn't plan for the audience aspect of things to funnel into a, a done for you slash done with you model, but it did. And that's what's that's what took Tom, Thomas. He just posted he made 50k or 40k. This is what this is what put him over the line. This is the agency model that transformed his biz, right? This right here, going from a consult, going from an agency owner to a consultant. That's what pivoted his agency. That's what took him from 10K to 40K. So what's the next step you might ask? So again, and the next the next step is some something that not a lot of people have reached. This is personally where I'm at right now. Right, consultancy size agency. I teach other people how to build short form content slash legion age slash legion agencies. Right, using what I've built on my own, using the expertise that I've had to scale my 10k a month short form content agency. I'm building an asset. I'm getting people in, and I'm now I'm successfully in the dumb with you, dumb for you model. The next step is the hardest. So you need to start introducing higher leverage deliverables. For example, Iman pivoted from, you need to watch this. So Iman pivoted from done for you, which is a service to done with you. Cause before uh, agency nav, he had another program where he had one-on-one -on -one consultation calls with the clients done with you. Then he made a course, right? <laughs> he made a course which is, uh, it's kind of redundant that I put, so he made a course, so now it's done, Do it, now it's do it yourself. So he's completely removed himself from his clients, uh, from his clients' results, right? And this is the next step where you go on to full-on consulting slash SaaS. So throughout this whole process, you've built, you built up people that want your service, that need your service, that also uh, believe in your mission, believe that your solution is the best. You've one, because you've done it using done for you Two because you've done it with them done with you. And now your goal is to separate yourself and have them do it themselves. How are you going to use that? You're going to implement SAS, right? So you need to introduce higher leverage deliverables if you want to appeal to a bigger mass, right? So, uh, you have to just completely pull away from it. So how do you do this, right? How does somebody with no capital or with low capital or someone who wants to speed run all of this, how does someone do that without having the money to build something like a, like, like agency flow, right? A whole CRM that Iman invested millions of millions of dollars to. Well, this is great software that I'm pretty sure, I'm damn sure you've heard of called Go Hello. And Go High Level has a consult has a model to implement SaaS. You can now resell its 
it's programmed as your own and you can use them use it as a CRM for your clients so now you can make a course out of your product and implement GHL as a SaaS build and now your clients are going through your course getting your go high level stack and using it to get results on their own completely or obviously with a coach or two that you might hire from this same from the same place over here that where you were doing it with other people you can get coaches to feel this right here you can get coaches to hop on calls one on one to hop and make a q and a call every single every single day right of the week but now you're completely relying on your course and the SaaS to work together in conjunction and for your clients to get results through that and through your coaches. So the course slash SaaS model is for future clients to rely on, right? And use Go High Level to build to fulfill your agency model. So use Go High Level along with your course to fulfill your service, which this is the new gen agency model my new gen agency theorem, you could say, in where this is the new way people are going to scale their agencies. Because in order to completely pull a wave and completely be able to serve more people, you need to one, charge less for your service and two, make it more scalable by removing yourself from it and by making it easily accessible. How do you make it easily accessible? You make a, make a course or a SaaS, right? But now you can do both. You can do both with Go High Level and white label software. And white label software is not gonna stop anytime soon. Go High Level is pioneering it, right? But you have to be able to use it as leverage from the very get go. You have to have a vision of where your agency is gonna go from service provider over here, traditional SMA service provider, all the way down to a leverage consultant, social media as a social as a service or a software as a service. Uh, use use for your clients right this is going to take you to the next step and this is what we're going to see people implement from beginning to end so i really hope you guys understood if you guys have any more questions go ahead and leave them in the comments down below i would really love to hear you guys' feedback this is a study that i've been uh, using for my own agency right for my own journey in this space and this is literally a document of how i'm going to go from 10k a month to a million a month following these frameworks right so let me know what you guys think right uh, if you have any more questions hit me up here down below or hit me up on instagram and if you guys would like to learn more about how we can help you scale through these different pa paths go ahead and click a call so you can book a free strategy strategy session with myself and we'll go over where you're at and where we can get you to or where you can get you to yourself and we'll discuss in detail regarding these models for your specific agency. Thank you so much for watching this video. We'll see you guys next time.